I'm here at Target buying my CD, and there are all these people who are buying it too, which is cool. Album sales in general were down in 2010 and at a staggering pace. In a period of nearly three years, physical album sales have been cut in half, and digital pickup has not filled the void. In 2007, physical album sales tallied just over 500 million, but in 2010, that number has plummeted to only 240 million, according to just released numbers by Nielsen SoundScan. Digital has gained 33 million sales, which is a drop in the bucket compared to the loss of over 260 million physical album sales, especially considering digital albums also have a lower price point. Also in 2010, there were only nine albums that reached one million units sold and only four multi-platinum releases. In 2007, there were at least eight that reached multi-platinum status. Some of the album sales loss has been offset by almost doubling of digital song sales. There's also an uptick in streaming videos and music, which is offset by advertising. To what degree that compares with album sales is unknown. All in all, the consensus is that the record industry is a shadow of where it was in 2007 and is paltry compared to its early 2000s heyday. We asked System of a Down, one of Rock's last great album sellers, what can be done? Do you think the record industry could be saved? And so, uh, how? What record industry? The record industry. The what record industry? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, can it be saved? Well, you know, one thing we know for sure is there are more music listeners now than ever before. The only problem is they're not buying as much, right? So that's a start. At least we know that the, the audience is there, right? So I think the record industry for the last number of years has tried to figure out how to capitalize upon those growth in listeners and decline in sales at the same time. You know, some people feel subscription is the right way of going at it. And, you know, some people, you know, there's, there's a lot of that work being done. I think a lot of the majority of, you know, is going in that direction. I'm not exactly sure. I don't like the idea that all the retailers are, have been disappearing. You know, we just lost Virgin, like, what, last year? Um, and we had lost Warehouse and Tower and all these companies a number of years ago. You know, it's like, digital's fine, but... You know, I, I still like, I'm, I'm old school, I still like walking into a record store in the East Village or in Los Angeles and, or, or, or San Fran and looking at the cover and, and talking to a guy about it and, you know, and, and, and actually purchasing something that I can take home with me. KISS broke away from the traditional record company system and Gene Simmons says they're in pretty good shape compared to others. The music industry is in chaos and disarray. I'm happy to report it hasn't affected KISS in the least. If, in fact, if anything, the chaos enables KISS to even get bigger. All music genres experienced a decline, except for rap and hip-hop, which gained 3% thanks to the industry-saving recovery album by Eminem. Posting 15% or more declines, according to Nielsen SoundScan, were alternative, classical, jazz, Latin, metal, new age, R&B, and rock and roll. Tearing down your balcony Knowing fans are bustle Trying to ask him why How can he From infinite down To the last relapse album He's still sitting Whether he's on salary